Alice's Things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Dr. Hartman, fight, smug face, ha, huh, if only you knew, watch my control video. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Nothing. No, you're not going to say nothing about your car falling down the mountainside. Hope you have good insurance. Oh, shit. The bright light, the light at the end of the tunnel. We're not supposed to follow it, but here we go. Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. I mean, we really did get attacked by that axe guy. He even brought tornadoes and shit. You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Shit, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Shit, shit, shit. Run, run, run. Oh, shit. Oh, move, bitch. Shit, go, go, go. There's shit being thrown. Oh, what the fuck? No, don't run out of stamina. Come on. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey, hey, you! Phil, there's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Listen, I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh. You know, I'm not really interested in cabins at the moment, especially the ones with dead bodies around them. Thank you. Oh shit, wooded area, finding pages, reminds me a lot of a slender guy, oh what the fuck. Oh he's doing parkour and he's insulting me. Thank <laughs> you. 
I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. During your trying Proven self evident like you killed one stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol yes. levels. Right Falls Sheriff Station. Oh man. Hello? Hello? Shit, bitch, this ain't no time for yawning. I'm in a fucking crisis right now. I got an axe guy trying to offer me cabins. <laughs> bitch, I'm getting bulldozed inside this trailer. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck this. Go. Go, jump. Get out! Oh, thank fuck, man. a shooting range and now I just killed someone or something there were no bodies they just disappeared if I was dreaming it felt real enough to make me sick you know I'm no licensed electrician but I think there's a different way the dark forest was the last place I wanted to go but I had no choice I had to get to the gas station <laughs> That bitch just say it's rabbit season. Look around, there's no rabbits. There's nothing to do with Looney Tunes right here. What is this bitch talking about? Get out of here. What the hell was that? The sounds of the demonic screams from the beyond or the evil lady in black in your vision? When I saw the river below, Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Nope. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way.
Glad that fight's over. Let's try to get this shit going. Oh, the flashy green light. We'll get to that in a second. Let's check out what's in here. A lot of darkness. A shotgun? Fuck yeah. Sweet. Oh, can't forget the slender page right here. Alright. Uh, anything else? Any other shotguns, pages? No? Alright, let's start this up. It's a flashy green light on this tree. No people trying to kill me, right? Oh, shit. Log. Move the log. Just like Final Destination. Fuck. I'm guessing you have to line them up and not die horribly by them, right? Outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I know most of you are probably in your beds by now. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. <laughs> Bitch, are you trying to start singing or telling me facts about yourself?
All right, we push the flashy green button. It'll look like Resident Evil out here. It's very foggy. Where are these bitches at? Come from anywhere? The sky, maybe. I don't fucking know. Where are you bitches at? Let's go a little further and find out. I don't know if I'm more astounded at the car facts or this massive bin of revolver ammo. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come, assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. 
Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it! God! Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Damn, look at them talking about, oh, you heard that? I wouldn't pass on some coffee right now. Well, I will at the moment because I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys liked it. This was pretty fun. Let me know what you guys thought, and I'll see you in the next video.